there is so much misinformation and disinformation about soy out there on the internet. Uh, and I'm curious as to where this is all coming from. Uh, some of it, I think, is xenophobia. It's fear of foreign things, because soy really is something that invaded our culture fairly recently. Our annual nutrition and health conference that the Arizona Center for Integrative Medicine puts on every year, you know, we bring the leading nutrition researchers from all over the country to present their findings to clinicians. And each year we have presentations on soy. And the leading scientists in this field, the evidence is overwhelmingly that soy has beneficial protective effects in women, even women uh, who have had breast cancer, who are taking tamoxifen, uh, an estrogen blocker, that it is beneficial. So the, the phytoestrogens, the plant estrogens in the soy, actually, you know, they probably work by binding to estrogen receptors in the body and preventing access by the body's own estrogen, which is much stronger, and by foreign estrogens, which are in a lot of pollutants and chemical products that are out there. So I think that's the way in which they, they are protected.